Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to do a comparison between the original OnePlus Buds and of course the OnePlus Bud Z. Uh, these were just announced with the OnePlus 8T and these came out with the OnePlus Nord. This is TK, let's go ahead and see the comparison and of course which one would be a better fit for you. Like and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon so that you're always notified to whenever we have new videos on the channel. So here we have both of them, the OnePlus Buds and the OnePlus Buds Z. Uh, both of them are available currently from OnePlus. Uh, this one's selling for a discounted price of $59.99 and this one's selling for $49.99. So basically a $50 and a $60 price tag for each one. And of course, the first question that comes to mind is what's the difference between the two outside of the obvious, right? The first thing that'll probably stand out to you guys if you haven't noticed it right away is the fact that the uh, aesthetics of the actual earpieces are different. One is more of an open back, meaning this sits inside of your ear, but it doesn't actually go in it, meaning there's still the ability of us to listening to any kind of audio that happens outside. This one, on the other hand, goes inside of our ear, providing us a better seal and, of course, uh, more of an actual uh, better reduction for an environmental noise in the area, although both of them do a good job of providing us great audio when it comes down to playback. When it comes down to the features that is listed directly on the box, uh, both of them are supposed to have great sound quality, bass boost here for the OnePlus Z, uh, up to 20 hours on the OnePlus Zs as opposed to up to 30 hours here with the OnePlus Buds, so just keep that in mind. Uh, I'm calling them the Zs and the Buds because these are Buds Z and then this is Buds, but Short answer, uh, IPX4 here, uh, basically water and dust resistance to be able to exercise with them and IP55 uh, here. So both of them are gonna be okay for exercise, but neither one of them are gonna be okay to go swimming with them. Uh, as far as pairing, both of them have that seamless connection. You just basically open it up and if you put it close to an Android device, it'll automatically pop up and you should be able to connect and get that connection going. Uh, the big difference again is this is a more of a, you're able to listen to more of an environmental sound around you because it doesn't seal the ear. And this one has a better seal. Uh, but again, uh, both are going to give us a great experience, especially on OnePlus devices. Now, when it comes down to the technology, both of them are using uh, Bluetooth 5.0. Uh, and as far as distance, I did actually do a quick test and we'll go ahead and jump into it right now, just to show you guys how far I'm able to actually keep listening to music while using each one of these buds. And of course, seeing the difference between the two. So for an experience of exactly how far I'm able to go with these, uh, these are the OnePlus buds, not the OnePlus buds plus. Uh, that's basically where I started back there. We're gonna keep walking till we get to the actual phone. I'm approximately, I would say 25, almost 30 feet away. Yep, we're still walking to the headphones and I'm still listening. So here we are, this guy. That's how far consistent and stable. I'm starting in the same spot as I started before with the OnePlus Buds. The OnePlus Buds Z have a little bit less of an error. Well, I would say more like a disconnect. So where I'm standing there, if I turn my head in the wrong way, it stops working. But if I walk a little bit further where I have more of a direct line of sight, now sound is perfect. And obviously we're listening to it. Um, and I'm also doing the same walk. So definitely roughly about the same distance pretty far over 20 feet each and if you're inside a house or something perfectly fine you could just leave your phone just walk around and you're not gonna have any problems and of course here's the phone and as you saw there uh, both of them have a great range um, overall I feel like the uh, buds definitely have a better control where wherever I was actually standing I had no issues when disconnects as far as audio so transmission both would be 20 to 30 feet uh, on average. As far as charging time, on the OnePlus Bud Z, we're gonna be able to charge them in about an hour as opposed to basically 80 minutes here on the OnePlus Buds. Uh, the rated capacity is 420 milliampers as, and 35 milliampers on the Buds, and we have 450 and 40 milliampers here on the Buds Z. So definitely a bigger battery, although for some reason the rated usage is longer on the OnePlus Buds. Now as far as audio quality, we're gonna start off with the microphones. We have three microphones on the OnePlus Buds as opposed to the two microphones that we have here on the OnePlus Buds Z. So that's going to be obviously attributing to better audio. So let's go ahead and switch over to a quick video right now showing you guys how does the audio sound like from the OnePlus Buds as opposed to the OnePlus Buds Z, especially when we're using them for phone calls. So for a quick straight comparison as far as audio straight from the headphones, there is a lawnmower that's actually working right in the background. So hopefully you guys can't hear that, but this should be a good example of how the audio sounds like from the OnePlus Buds Z. Let's go ahead and switch over to the OnePlus Buds. Okay, now we're using the OnePlus Buds, uh, the original ones. Again, same lawnmower is actually working in the background. There's some birds around us. But this should be also a good example of how the audio is uh, with a little bit of wind. I'm not sure how if that's being picked up by the, your, well, the headphones themselves. Uh, three microphones as opposed to two on the other one. So in theory, this sound should actually be better. So I went ahead and connected the OnePlus Buds directly to my OnePlus uh, 8T here. Uh, and of course, both of them have similar configurations. Uh, we're able to configure them as far as what we do with them directly within the Bluetooth settings on our smartphone, specifically OnePlus devices. 
Uh, the Hey Melody application is going to be coming out very soon, which will allow us to do some of these configurations from non OnePlus devices. So for now, I'm actually going to go ahead and just stick with what I have that actually works perfectly fine. Uh, we're able to see the battery percentage on both of these devices uh, when they're connected to either the earphones themselves as well as the case itself. So here we have it, the case is 100% and of course the earphones as well. I can actually have my finite device, I can configure the double tap on the left ear as well as double tap on the right ear. And both of them will carry this double tap to whatever other device we connect it to. So an example, if I configure it to run on my OnePlus 8T here and I have them connected to my Samsung Galaxy Fold 2, both of these configurations, so the double tap on the left, uh, on the left side to open up the assistant and double tap on the right to go to next track will work and you can actually use it and configure them again in here. And as far as the codec, we both support AAC and SBC, so that's going to be configured on both ends. You just need to select the one that you prefer phone calls, media, contact sharing if you want to be able to set it up, auto updating for, uh, for the firmware. And of course, lastly here, what we have is just the ability of doing it over mobile data. And of course, a quick description of what the functions that we have here. Went ahead and switched over to the OnePlus Buds Z. Uh, keep in mind that you're able to switch between the two connected devices to these headphones. So you can pair them with two different devices and switch between one and the other by just press and holding one of the ear tips for three seconds. And that's what I did. I switched back to it. And as far as I mentioned again before, all the configurations are pretty much the same. AAC, SBC, uh, contact sharing, uh, auto firmware updating, all of that information runs pretty much the exact same experience. Uh, what actually gets a little bit different as far as configuring the audio, as they mentioned before, is the ability of getting that bass, and of course, which one does sound better. So under the sound configuration on your OnePlus and with any device that you're connecting, if they have Dolby Atmos, this is going to be also very nice. You can customize your experience between dynamic, movie, music, or none. Of course, the style preference is where you're able to turn on the EQ as well as basically the intelligent style. So I have them set on balance and roughly the same profile for both of them. Uh, now, OnePlus does have an additional option here directly under the earphone mode, which enables you to actually do Bluetooth absolute mode, which means that it actually increases the audio and the performance of the audio on your headphones. Lastly, I got this question on the last video I did on the OnePlus Z. Both the OnePlus Z and the OnePlus, OnePlus Z or Z and the OnePlus Buds support all autoplay, meaning if I take one of the earpieces out when I'm listening to music, what happens essentially is this. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring back the track that I was listening to. So here we have uh, Nifra, this is Follow Me 2. Again, what I'm gonna go ahead and do, just basically play the song so it's playing now in the earphones. And the moment I take one of the earphones out, the music pauses. Now it does not automatically play unless if I basically take both earphones and let's say put them back into the case and turn it off. So I allow the headphones to actually disconnect. But let's go ahead and disconnect, reconnect them directly, and I'll go ahead and put them back in my ears. And as you can see right there, the music starts up again. So if you disconnected them and you connected them again, you're going to be able to get the same experience. And now that we have the OnePlus Buds connected, so I went ahead and put them back in my ear. So I'll go ahead and start the music. Take out the earpiece. Now it stops. It starts. So the only big difference between the two is that uh, both of them will stop the music and both of them will restart the music if you're opening them directly out of the headphone case, or the earphone case. But only the OnePlus Buds allow you to, when you take it out of the ear, to stop the music. When you put them back in the ear, it will actually start playing the music for you uh, back to where you were before. So the configuration is slightly different in the control, but both of them have the pause functionality. And if you're using them for phone calls, both of them will actually work one earpiece at a time. You don't have to have both in your ears to be able to enjoy the content there. Now, when it comes to the actual fit, uh, as I mentioned, both of them will actually fit and pretty much look pretty much the same. So let's go ahead and put one on here. I'm going to put one on the left side. I hadn't turned off the music so that it's not playing on both sides. But you can kind of see both of them point directly down. The microphones obviously are pointing directly to our face. Uh, the OnePlus Buds have three microphones as opposed to the OnePlus Buds Z that only have two. So there is a slight difference in audio performance. And when I did make phone calls with them, they did make it, well, you actually already saw the video where you kind of saw that the audio quality on the OnePlus Buds are definitely better. So for audio quality, if, you're, if that's a big important part for you, I think the OnePlus Buds will definitely sound better at about $10 more. When it comes down to the sound performance, which I think a lot of you guys were wondering, uh, the OnePlus Buds have a 13.4 millimeter driver in each ear. So keep in mind, those are a little bit better than the 10 millimeter ones that we have in the OnePlus Buds Z. So there is a difference in the hardware. But then when it comes down to the audio performance, here's where it kind of flips it on the other side. The OnePlus Buds are open, which means you do need to increase the audio to get that better sound. They sound great. They're great for running. I, I did a couple of runs with them and they did not even fall out of my ear. Um, there's no problem with sweat on them. All of that is going to work great. The OnePlus Buds sound really good. But the difference essentially is that they're open, which means you're more than likely going to be getting more external audio interfering with it, which forces you to play the audio at a higher level, which makes them sound good. And obviously the bass will work better. Where the OnePlus Z's, OnePlus Buds Z's, 
um, don't necessarily have to go as high because they're in ear and by default because of the uh, the rubber ear tip that's going in there or the silicon ear tip uh, definitely provides more better sound isolation so for me when i'm listening to music on both of them both of them have a nice good bass level in there they're not going to be the super heavy bass obviously the 50 to 60 bucks headphones earphones so keep that in mind um, so when it comes down to performance, I think you're going to be enjoying the audio on both of them the exact same way. It's more of a preference of do you want something that basically looks like the OnePlus Buds Z, which has the actual in-ear experience as opposed to what you get with the OnePlus Buds, which again, there's no problem with it. It's just it's a personal preference. Uh, sits nicely, works nicely in your ear, and of course sounds better because you have better microphones. So. Um, I hope this kind of answered the question for you guys. Both of them are going to work really nice. So when it comes down to the latency, I did a couple of tests on both of them. And for the most part, uh, they averaged about the same, between 200 to 300 milliseconds as far as the latency with Fanatic mode on a OnePlus device. It did get a little bit worse when you actually put it on a non OnePlus device. But again, for latency concerns, if you're thinking about playing games, you're getting pretty much the same experience for both. Uh, the $10 difference kind of just attributes to uh, how long you're able to use it, how good the audio is, and of course the range. I feel like the OnePlus Buds uh, definitely have better control and a slightly longer range when it comes to control, uh, you know, listening to music without any interruption. The OnePlus Buds Z are slightly short, about maybe five or six feet away from that. But for me, put it on my desk, I can walk around the house with both of them and wouldn't lose a signal. So let me know in the comments below, what do you guys think of the OnePlus Buds and the OnePlus Buds Z? Are you considering getting one or the other? And of course, there'll be a link in the description below. Thank you very much for the support. I'll see you guys in the next video.